Hi friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In the last video, I have discussed how to read a few attributes from the SQL table and display the output. And also I have discussed the purpose of comments and also various types of comments like single line comments and multi line comments. I hope you have watched that video. If you did not watch that video or if you don't know those concepts, I request you to go back and watch that video and come back to this video. In this video, I want to discuss how can you write a PLSQL program to read the entire row from the SQL table and display the output. You know that a table will consist of attributes and the tuples. Attributes are nothing but the column and the tuples are nothing but the row. Now if you want to look at the information from a particular table, let me open the SQL plus and let me write select star from EMP. Now it will display all the attributes from the EMP table and also all the rows. Now you can see there is an information about the EMP table consists of EMP number which represents employee number, E name, employee name, his job, his manager, hire date, salary, department number, all these things are there. Now you can see in this EMP table there are 8 rows are there. Now one of the row I want to select from this EMP table and then display it. So what I will do, I will display the information about the employee number called 7900. Then how I will write in the SQL plus using Oracle SQL, how I will write select star from EMP where EMP number is equal to 7900 and with the semicolon. Now you can see employee number is 7900, employee name is James, job is clerk, MZR, hire date, all these things came. Now I want to write the same thing using the PLSQL. How to do it? Let me clear the screen. And then I will write set server output on end with a semicolon. Now what is the purpose of set server output on? Whatever you are writing the PLSQL program, if it needs to display the output, then you need to write this command and then you need to write the program. Once you have written this one, whatever the programs you are writing, for everything it will work. I will provide the declare session to declare a variable called record and then I don't know the size and the type of that record. So I will write EMP which is the table name and then I will provide the row type end with semicolon. Then I will open the begin section and then I will write select star into record because I want to copy the entire row into the attribute called or into the variable called record from which table from EMP table and then which row you need to find the employee number whose employee number is 7900 so the tuple which is satisfied this condition will be stored in the variable called record from this one I want to display his department number employee name job like this then I will write dbms underscore output dot put underscore line then I will write here the employee into the single quotes I will write the employee name is okay close single quotes and then provide the concatenation and then I will write this one then again concatenation now I will write record dot e name end with semicolon similarly I want to display the his job and salary so I will write dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and then I will write this the employee job details or the employee job is close the single quotes provide the concatenation open the single quotes column close the single quotes then provide the concatenation record dot job end with the semicolon similarly i want to display his salary so i will write a dbms underscore output dot put underscore line the employee salary is, I will write the employee salary is, close the single quotes, then concatenation, open the single quotes, the column, and then close the single quotes, concatenation, now record dot SAL, the attribute name you need to provide, 
with the help of the variable so variable dot operator then the attribute name now i want to display this information so let me provide the end session and then provide the backslash now you can see we got the output as the employee name is james the employee's job is clerk the employee salary is 950 if you could not able to read from this one let me open the whatever the commands i have written whatever the program i have written now i have opened this one you can see we have provided the declare session which is an optional but i want to declare a variable called record so that's why i have written the declare session then i have written the variable as record and i need to provide the type i don't know the row type so i have provided the table name so i will write here the comment which is hyphen hyphen then i will write a table name modulus operator and then the row type okay end with the semicolon then you know that whatever the program you want to write you need to write within the begin session so i have opened the begin session and then i want to store a one row into the record variable from which table employee table called emp and then the row where the employee number is 7900 only I want to select so that information is stored in the variable called record from that record I am displaying the employee name job and salary if you want the MGR also you can find it out okay let me copy and paste the manager information the manager information is here I will write record dot record is a variable and then dot operator and then you need to provide the attribute. Let me save this one, close it and provide the access. Now you can see the manager information is 7698. His ID is this one. So this is the way you can write a PLSQL program to copy the entire row from the table and display the output to the user if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day